little step back just here. So let, let's say we've got a, a fictional SME, uh, Nick, uh, and it's 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 looking to 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 you know move into the Southeast Asian region. Uh, what's the first step steps they should take to make sure they can protect their intellectual property? What do they need to do? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the starting point obviously is to make sure your rights are registered for the country in question. Mm -hmm. um, without registered rights, you almost certainly cannot get something removed from an e-commerce platform. Then there is a process when you spot a listing of a counterfeit good, you can submit a notice. As Remy says, the problem is there'll be local language on some of these platforms. The procedures will be slightly complicated um, and may not be very user friendly. Some of them are not just have not got very efficient systems. Some of them are relatively new. They maybe have only been formed a couple of years, some of these platforms, um, and others may not be very helpful just, just as a general thing. Um, so actually going through that process of filing that notice, uh, making sure the listing is removed and that it doesn't just pop up again later is one of the challenges. But of course, listings are only one part of this. The actual person selling the counterfeit goods, the merchant himself, is really the primary infringer here. So you start to have to think about doing this in two ways. One is you want to remove the visibility of counterfeit goods. And as I say, many companies will hire an outside company to do that surveying, uh, pulling together all of, the, all of the listings and trying to help you pick out the counterfeit ones from the genuine ones. And, you know, yeah. Mid-sized companies often use those as well, but SMEs, there might be challenges budget-wise, I and mean, you'd have to negotiate hard with one of those companies to try to get yourself a, a, a survey or a system that would work to the sort of budget you've got to spend on this. But of course, dealing with the adverts is just dealing with the adverts. That's not targeting the counterfeit goods, which are still being made in China, still being shipped to Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, wherever in, in the region, and have got to be targeted separately. And of course, one of the huge challenges is the costs of law enforcement. If you start thinking about filing cases with the police against counterfeit goods, you're going to talk about spending a lot of money. You'll need to hire local lawyers. You'll need to think about, you know, uh, what the documentary requirements are. Filing cases in complicated court systems on the other side of the world is usually more expensive than doing, doing it at home. So there mm. are some intrinsic complexity issues made worse by the fact, as Remy says, these platforms are running different systems and it can be quite a challenge for, us, for an SME to actually embark on such a programme.